I want to tell you guys about a really cool study. This is a study that I find myself referencing very often on discovery calls with potential clients. There was a study that was done on a bunch of housekeepers in a hotel. Now, the study was on the effects of physical activity on these housekeepers. Before the study had begun, the researchers actually found that these housekeepers had actually been meeting the standards of exercise. I believe it was moderate exercise set by the, I believe it was the American Cardiac Association or some sort of authority in the setting these standards. When the researchers sat down with the housekeepers, they took several tests, blood tests, and did several biological measures to assess the fitness and health of the housekeepers. They also asked the housekeepers, how often do you exercise? How often are you physically active? Now, the housekeepers responded, nearly all of them responded, I'm, I'm not very healthy. I don't work out very often. I wish that I could, but I'm so tired when I get home. Now the experiment begins. And as you know, in an experiment, there is an experimental group and a control group. The control control group is a half of the housekeepers who continue working the way that they normally do. Nothing, no intervention was given. And at the end of this period of time, they would have their blood retaken and these biological measures would be taken once again. The intervention group was a group of the housekeepers that were actually sat down and told, by the way, you might not be going to the gym, but you are actually meeting the requirements for moderate physical activity according to this national standard. Meaning you are actually getting the right amount of exercise just by doing your job. If you've seen housekeeping or housekeepers, they have to do a lot of heavy lifting. They're lifting up mattresses, they're pushing a heavy cart, they're going up and down stairs. And this group was told to just continue what you're doing and they did. They didn't change the speed that they were moving. They didn't change the number of rooms that they were entering, they were still doing their job. What happened? the end of the trial is that when the intervention group had their blood taken and these biological measures performed, they all improved. But the control group, which wasn't told anything about the fact that they were meeting these exercise standards, their measures stayed the same. Now, this was an incredible feat and it led to the researchers questioning why without any change in physical activity, any change in going to the gym, this group had such significant improvements in their health. And that, my friend, is the power of awareness and intention. They found that just by now understanding and believing that they were meeting that standard, essentially what happened is they rewired their brain and their brain set out new patterns and new connections, which led to parts of their brain which were previously inactive, now sending these neurological signal leading to these biochemical reactions, which led to the increase in these healthy biological markers. In other words, when their brain came to know that, oh, these standards are actually being met, it worked in their favor and started leading to these biochemical reactions, which allowed the person to actually benefit from the exercise that we, they were doing. Isn't that incredible, subhanAllah? So what does this have anything to do with us? And by the way, before I forget to introduce myself, if you're new here, assalamu alaikum. My name is Hannah. I'm a PA who practices medicine. I am a trauma coach for Muslim women and a high impact self-improvement coach. If you are a Muslim who is ready to take charge of her healing, you you want someone who can walk you through a system of how to heal trauma, go to the link in my description to apply for my trauma group coaching program. Only a few weeks are left for this next cohort, which is launching at the end of June. So don't miss out. The reason why this is so important and why I love this study is because it demonstrates just the power of intention and awareness. When you realize that something that you are doing is actually really powerful and good for you, your body conspires in your favor. And this is something that is by Allah's beautiful design. So I find myself referencing this study often to my clients because they're doing hard work. The work of healing trauma, the work of healing attachment wounds, the work of self-improvement, of building a vision for a life ahead of them, of healing depression and anxiety. It is so easy in the middle of this work to feel discouraged, to feel like nothing's changing, to feel like I'm just always going to be like this. But what I tell them and what I'm going to tell you guys, if you are feeling this way, if you feel stuck, if you feel depressed and anxious and down, and you feel like things are not changing, when you just open your mind to the belief and the understanding that when you start to do things that are positive for your well-being, the impact is there whether you recognize it or not, just like these housekeepers were getting the exercise, whether they recognize it or not. And just by appreciating that progress and appreciating the effort that you are making, your brain starts to unlock pathways that are going to help you get better. When anybody starts their healing journey, they have no idea what's going to be on the other side. Whether you come into a trauma group coaching program like I do, whether you start working with therapists, whether you start reading books or purchasing courses or going to lectures or whether you start praying or reading Quran more, you 
you don't know what's going to be on the other side. But the reality is just by virtue of you starting, you have set a cascade of positive effects ahead of you. And you are going to benefit from the impact of those decisions that you are making. And what makes the difference between a person who heals and a person who doesn't? What makes the difference between a person who absolutely transforms their lives and does a 180 and a person who does not is one of them was willing to believe that what they are doing is going to have a positive impact and pay dividends in the future even if they don't know how exactly how and so they continued to put in the work and put in the effort and it led to their progress and the other either never started because they were too scared or they gave up too quickly let's talk about intention from a religious perspective now intention or niya is a powerful principle of our deen. Indeed, all actions are by intentions. This is what our Prophet ﷺ told us. And I never fully appreciated this hadith until I got older. I learned it when I was a kid and then oftentimes I would hear these spiritual gurus who are not Muslim talking about intention, the power of intention, set an intention for your day. And I was like, what is this woohoo sign? And like, what is, what are they saying? And then it I started to just bring awareness to the power of intention in my life. And I found that when I, so in Islam, when we make an intention for a good deed, and even if we do not get to perform the deed, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala rewards us for as if we did it because of that intention. So I started to notice when I would make an intention for something, and for one reason or another, I was blocked from doing it, whether I got busy or just the opportunity was no longer in front of me, something would happen. One, either the positive impact of that action, I would see it in my life even though I never performed the action, or Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would bring that opportunity back to me at another time when it was better for me. Now, had I not made that intention, had I not brought an awareness to the fact that I wanted to make this effort, then I might not have noticed the benefit in front of me or later on, or I might not have ever thought to take the opportunity at another time in my life. So the conclusion of this video is do not underestimate the power of making an intention for something. Do not underestimate the power of bringing your awareness to something that is good for you, even if you previously didn't understand how powerful it could be for you. Trust the process that you are taking, whether again, it's in your spiritual development, your physical health, your mental well-being, healing trauma, be willing to put in the effort and inshallah, you will see the fruit of your labor, whether it's in this dunya or the akhira. With that being said, you guys, if you enjoyed this video, then please like, subscribe and comment below. And of course, to my ladies, if you are interested in working with me, go to the link in the description to find out more information. Assalamu alaikum and I will see you in the next one.